Hey everybody, it's DC here and welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And as you see, we are actually starting to get quite a bit of traffic around here. I decided to go back to Lyseth 2, where I've got the silicone being produced and I've got it uh, coming down in this elevator action right here. As you can see, I've got the silicone coming in. And then I actually have this set up to use drones to bring it over to uh, this logistics station over here. And this is just a local planetary one. And so what these guys are doing, they're taking the silicone that, they're, that I'm producing on Lysa 2, bringing it over here, and it's actually supplying into this line, where, or into these containers, which is, of course, making processors and going down to make uh, the particle broadbands. Uh, we're actually going to, I'm going to try to get into doing the, the informatri inform information matrix today. Cue that up at the very end. Uh, currently I'm doing the, the gas, gas planet exploration. Uh, it says something about collecting resources and stuff like that. I have no idea. I'm actually doing it just for out of curiosity's sake. And then we also have uh, the solar sails getting set up next. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going along with it. But I have noticed that the solar sails here, uh, this is what's got me uh, intrigued, is if you look at it, it has a life of 5,400 seconds. So apparently, these things only last an hour and a half. So does that mean I have to constantly supply them into orbit? Which shouldn't be an issue because uh, the purple thing there is actually fairly easy to make. It is a prism and circuit, circuit board. Circuit boards are being produced on Lyseth 1. And there's plenty of stone on Lyseth 2 to produce the glass to make the prisms, which we can send back to Lyseth 1 and get the solar sails produced from there and shot off with the cannon that I have there, and that we placed down there. Now, again, no idea what this does or how this all works, but I'm sure it's going to explain it as I go, and I will have to unlock other stuff. Uh, there are things that are sort of locked behind things that I have to do beforehand. Actually, cue that up, keep that going. Uh, so far, everything has been uh, running fairly smoothly. Uh, titanium is rolling nicely. We've got nice supply backed up. Research is rolling along. Uh, fuel's rolling along. Uh, what else uses titanium? The titanium alloy is actually doing pretty good. We're at 2700 now. So that's good. That's going. So uh, I also got some uh, mech stuff going too. I've got some more drone stuff. Drone upgrades going just to make it a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and... First of all, what I'll do is since I'm going to be setting it up anyways. Actually, no, I'm not going here, am I? Uh, no, uh, what I was going to do before I actually start recording the episode. I love seeing that. I noticed these ones here too, they change color depending on the resource they're collecting. And I also noticed too that I thought this was actually very nice. So, it's, so you can actually see the drones on the map. So you can actually see where they're going. And I can see all these guys going back and forth from Lysith too. So that, that's, that's really cool and it seems to use all of the drones at one station before it uses the other one. So. That's good to know, but it's only still only ten ton of each at each station. Anyway, let us go. Oh, hang on, I gotta I gotta check my fuel here. Okay, I got I got a few stacks. We're good. Uh, probably should check my inventory, make sure I got the miners, the smelters, conveyors, containers I can make. All right, let's go to Lys Lyseth One. Where are you? I like that you can see the drones too, that's so nice. Over there. Alright. We'll be a little bit. Uh, I've also learned not to fly too fast. Uh, or especially with uh, especially with depleting my energy bar all the way. Uh, it's very hard to turn when you're doing 1800 meters a second and you have absolutely no power. So if you overshoot, it takes you about 10 minutes to reach your destination. Look, look there they go. Oh, convoy. Alright, we should be there pretty quick. Boost up the speed. That's kind of why I want to get to the deuterium rods, because they re replenish the, the power faster. Alright. Let's see if I can actually get into like an orbital flight on this. I love doing that. You get right down here, like cruising. At... Oh, didn't make it this time. But if I go up up here I can actually sort of get like a cruising altitude that makes it easier to get around to areas of the planet 
Alright, well, uh, this is all my stuff over here. I should have the elevator over here somewhere. I might have bring some foundations with me. Oh, well. Uh, where is that elevator? I like how it just towers up over on the, the map here. Oh, I, I never set up an elevator here. Oh. Fortunately, I have some. And I forgot to bring the titanium alloy. Oh, I have the drones already. We're good to go. Alright, uh. Flip inside. Oh, 10 tanks of fluid in the game. Yeah, it was, uh. Having, uh, hydrogen issues. Hydrogen was backing up and everything was. Did the hydrogen backing up? Something was backing up. I don't know, but the production was sort of being halted on a few things. I had to deal with that. Alright, what am I doing here? I am bringing up glass. So let's find a stone deposit here. I'm at the wrong planet. Found it. All right. What's funny is I actually see the elevator like far away before I saw anything else. It actually rendered first. All right, so here we are now. This is going to be a bit of a concern. Like uh, I'm kind of maxed out my drones. Do I want to make another elevator just for the glass? Hmm. I think I do. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, because we're going to Lysith one here. All right, I gotta find a good stone deposit here. Uh, two of them right next to each other. Nice. I'm using those ones there. That might be all of it. Nice one there. Nice one over there. Guess I really only need one. Nice one right over here, actually. Now, where am I? Over here. Alright, perfect. Alright, well, let me get this set up, and I will be back. Okay, there we go. It's fairly simple. Just got a couple of miners going to do smelter, turning that into glass. Those two are turning it, going to a mark, to an assembly machine, and hopefully they are providing the glass fast enough to produce these things at a reasonable rate. Now, all I have to do is just plop one of these down, I'll probably end up using it for something else around here. I might have to bring something else in if I need it. So I'll just throw it there for now. And convey it right in. Oh, uh, the wrong button here. Uh, of course. All right. And you need power. I think I came prepared this time. All right. You are going to be supplying prisms okay give you some drones and remote supply all right i think i need to speed this up a little bit okay so i'm ramping it up a little bit here i decided to sort of triple it up i do have everything in place i do should have that sorter in there i do not Actually, put that in before I do this. Okay, that's gonna... Why is that not working? Collide with another object. What's going on here? Hmm. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do, do a quick change here. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, sort of messing around with the, the paste, or the copy-paste sort of option. I thought I'd do that on camera just for the sake of it, right? Uh, trust me, I... Make it look like I know what I'm doing. That's about as far as I go. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Uh, no, nope, I don't like how it does that. And like so, and then I can get this put it back in. I do have to make the items, so I do have everything else. I just gotta make the the sorters. So how many do I need? Three. I need six sorters, and I have the splitters. So if I go in here. Yes, that uh, one there. Good thing I have resources on me. Good thing I'm producing resources on this planet. Uh, so this won't take long. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do is uh, sort of double this up. Let have the container down. I'm gonna place it back down like that and we'll get this going at the moment while we're waiting. Okay, like that. Probably make some more sort. All right, I'm gonna make extra sorters. And uh, there they are. Why did I make 20? Oh, does the recipe make two at a time? It does. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. Good. We got extras. 
Okay, I'll do that. Alright, now, we go here. Go here, could it... Oh, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing the wrong thing here. There we go. This is actually really handy. I like this. You do that. Just use now. And allow you to just copy and paste it just like that. Uh, hmm. That should be fine. Gotta love it. Now, can I connect this over there? I can. Perfect. Now I just gotta. Oh yeah, I gotta set all the recipes. Anyway, so I was gonna just, just want to show you that. Let me get all set up, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, there we go. So we are storing uh, storing the prisms right now. Uh, had a bit of an issue with uh, this conveyor not actually going all the way inside the splitter, so this side wasn't actually working. All right, so now we're going to take these things and we're going to take them to Lyseth 1. Lyseth 1, we're making the circuit boards. So we're going to use that to produce uh, these photon combiners. Is that what they were called? Something like that. Uh, these things. Yeah, photon combiner. I remembered it. All right, where is Lyseth 1? Got so many things now. Oh, over there. All right. I know I can actually rename them. I have figured that out. I'm not going to do that because I'll forget where I'm going. And hopefully soon we'll be moving on to... Okay, I just want to make sure the research is still going. And soon we'll be investigating Lysa 3. Now this is what I meant about overshooting at a high speed. As long as I don't hit the lava, I'm okay. Wait! And I missed it. I'll see you in five minutes. I also like how to it now it is a state of logistics vessel, but it actually tells you what it's bringing back to. Also, this is uh, one of those times where you want to hit the planet. Oh, avoidance of the lava. Perfect. All right, where am I? Oh, good, good spot. All right, so... Now we just fly over here to where I'm making the circuit boards. Have us be right here. We have a nice hefty 10,000 of them ready to go. Where's a good place to put the elevator? Let me have a look at the map here. See where I have everything else. Let's uh, turn this off for now. Actually see everything. Okay, it's in there, so... I might as well set it up right over there, then. I'd like to have them on just... These things on, just so I can actually see where things are. So when I go to plan or play, place things... At least I know I'm not placing it somewhere... Where I gotta build stuff. Alright, I'll place that there. And... Did I not have drones? Where did I put the drones in the other one? Oh yeah, that's right, I built another elevator. Alright, uh, that means I gotta build more drones. So, uh, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to fix a power situation. I'm currently running a whole bunch of geothermal plants going across the lava rivers and we'll circle the... Circle it. Uh, circle the... I was going to say globe, but I don't know what it's called. The globe would be a giant molten rock, more or less. But anyways, uh, so yeah, we have we have a thousand prisms coming in uh, here, and we have more on the way, so that's good. So now what I need to do is we need to make this. What are we making? We're making an assembler, yes. Place an assembler, and I think... Because we're going to have to go right back into the plant anyway, so let's place it here. Or not plant, the station will place it there to get rid of that rock. Uh, I do need to make a few more storage. And I need more steel, which I am actually making over here. Because I need steel for the, the power plants. Gas giant exploration, thank you for putting that in my face. Alright, go over here, grab some steel so I can make some more containers. Uh, Sure, four is fine. 
All right, we gotta go all the way back over here. And this should be fairly simple. Now, I'm just putting a container down because I want to have always like to have some sort of buffer going. Place that there. Take a veer, coming out of here. Go to there. I don't have to place that extra one, but that's fine. If I go here, we get that, and we have prisms coming out on this side. We have this conveyor going into here. Oh, uh, get out of that. You are going to be making uh, these things. You have to get a couple of sorters in. And, oh yeah, i got to put one on the other side too. Now, for the circuits. Where did I put them? That out of the way so we can all see. Alright, now circuits. Pick from here. We'll run across this line here so we can get rid of that rock. I guess so. And we'll put that in there. I'm trying to upgrade my drones too. I think I mentioned that already because these guys are a little slow trying to give them a. I think the the plus one task means it means that they take two blocks instead of one. All right, so we're there. We do that, and after I get it all powered, uh, I probably will have another container just because because aha, EM rail ejector. Oh wait, hold on. I'm actually not. Do I want to send these from here or from Earth? Or not Earth. But I just thought about that because that's what I'm doing on this is that is to produce these. I need to get the graphene from Earth. So either send these back to Earth and send it from there or send them from here. And I think in theory it'd be better to go from here because we're closer to the star. Closest to the star, in fact. Maybe. I think maybe that's what we'll do. Alright, so in that case, uh, what I can do, we'll set, also set up a demand for the graphene here. Remote demand on that, so that means I gotta feed that into the other end. Then that'll be coming out the other end here. And then those will combine into solar cells. Now, th those get made in the assembly, right? Yeah. <clears throat> in that case, please. Place an assembly there. We'll move this container just for organization purposes. Alright, and then you are going to be coming out of here into there. And. Connect that, connect that, connect, uh, what, 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 oh, I gotta make some more, uh, you get the idea, let me do this and I'll be right back. Okay, just about done, the only thing that's left to do is, hook this container up to the conveyor belt. Now that we bring them along, I have the prisms in, waiting to go in, uh, already going in here, and then I already have... Uh, the graphene is set up, but I don't have it being produced yet. So, I have to go back. Oh, went in there already. Yes, I have to go back and get the neoprene, or the graphene. I don't know why I keep calling it neoprene. Dyslexic, maybe. Anyway, I uh, shall be back. Okay, here I am back on Lysa 2, or our home world. And all I gotta do now is just, uh... Oh, 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 I'm gonna run out of fuel here. Aha. Always bring spares. Get rid of that. Alright, so now I just gotta feed this into the elevator. And let's go into this one here. And we'll go over here. And like so. Oh, actually, no, this one goes right in. Now make sure I didn't double back my conveyor. Good. And we go here and we set a new thing and then we set that to remote demand. No, nope, actually remote supply. 
And in theory, that should be delivering the, gra uh, the graphene to Lysith 1. Oh, I gotta place a sword down here. Come on, hurry up, guys. I guess it would help if I wasn't flying above the ground. Alright. Let me catch up with these guys. So rare that I actually play at this view level. Alright. And there we go. Remote supply. Yes. Did I not set remote demand on the other end? Let me find it. No, oh, never mind. It is actually going. I guess it's limited amount of drones. Did I have drones to put in here? I did not. This is actually not assigned here. Maybe I should do that. Uh, what do I need to make them? Stuff I don't have. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that then. Uh, let's see, what was that going to? That was... That's coming in from her Lysith 1. You know what? I think we'll be okay for now. I have no idea how many we're going to need, but uh, they are rolling for the time being, so we'll do that. Let me uh, get down off the ground for, onto the ground for a little bit, save my fuel. Uh, actually, I should move that. And put that here. Now, I've noticed too that these sorters, they actually have quite the range. Well, not that much of a range, but I can go like three blocks of them. I can save conveyors if I want. Doesn't really matter though. We haven't even gotten to the fast conveyors yet. Alright, there we go. Our first solar sail. So now the question is, what do we do with them? Because I know that there's this thing here. Can I even make one? No, I can't. Give me a minute. I actually think I have everything on here to make it. Okay, I'm back. Now, I have absolutely no idea what this EM rail ejector does, so I made two of them. I gotta find out where they actually are. Uh, it's not gonna be transportation, not gonna be research. Dyson's free program. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I need to be, actually do something with this thing or what, but. Looks like some planetary defense right there. An EM rail ejector. You have taken the first step to build the Dyson Sphere. Now you can use it to send solar sails into space for forming the Dyson Swarm. Each EM rail ejector requires to set up orbit and supply with solar sails. Also, you can use copy and paste to set orbits. If you want a Dyson Swarm orbit become more diversified, you can click the Dyson Sphere button in the lower left corner of the screen to open the Dyson Sphere panel. Make your customization however you want. Cool, we pissed it off. We'll figure it out in a second here. I want to get these things powered. Too close. Really? Do I have to do something like that? Fine. Alright. Let's throw a splitter in here. Like so. And... Oh, no, no. I gotta do it this way with the splitters. Just like that. Or... No. Doesn't work that way. I thought it would collide with object. Oh, come on, you serious? <sighs> All right, let me fix this. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a elevator in my face. All right, so we take this out, we'll run that into there. Put another splitter onto here, or sorter, or whatever. Now it says I have to find an orbit. Oh, I need the ray receiver. Oh, it's doing something. Oh, I need that out of my face. Cool. So does that mean that this goes on to a new orbit? Oh. Hello. 
Hmm. Oh, that is so cool. Ooh, I like this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if we can figure this out. Ah, there we go. Too close to planet. I like it how it tells you how much power you're generating too. So let's bring this one in a little bit. I'll uh, bring that inclination. It's called polar. Yes. I don't think it really matters which way I go. I actually like this. I do. Uh, uh, the ascending node. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, that's what that is. Thank you. Oh, cool. We're in the map. Not that it matters, not that we'll find it, but... Alright, so... Uh, of course you messed up my orbit. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, actually, do we want to go outwards with this one? Maybe. Stay with that polar. Go at a nice 90, and... I guess that doesn't matter, so we'll do that. And that will be on orbit 2. Yeah, you can go on two. And I like how the guns are going to be firing in two different directions. You're on orbit one. Now, what's wrong with you? Hitch limit. Okay. Let me have a look at this for a minute. Oh yeah, well it's just, clearly it's being blocked by the planet itself, so I'll probably, probably going to set up an elevator on the other side of the planet, and just uh, have logistics drones going back and forth, and then that way we can have a couple of real guns on both sides, because it's going to take a lot of panels to do this, apparently, but I guess uh, I can do as much as I want. Alright, well, uh, let me check the recording time and I'll be right back. Well, it might be a good time to call it here, just in time for an auto save, but I thought I'd bring this up just... Just to show you, you can actually see the guns firing the, sail, the solar sails off. You can actually see the, where they land, and I guess they say persistent. And here's the other one doing the polar ones. So we're going to be laying up the night sky. That's so cool. And I think these are actually drones. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. And again, though, that could be part of the other ring just because they don't seem to be static orbits. Seems to be planet seems to be rotating aside from them, but anyways, we have started. So if we are generating power, I just gotta find a way to actually get it down here. Actually, I do have it. It's right here. No, that's the energy exchanger. It was the ray receiver, which we gotta research next. And we'll take care of that in the next episode. What do I need for it? Definitely more producing. Anyway. I thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh, you stop. Bye.